Please keep your arms and legs inside the moving vehicle at all times while watching the hump. And welcome. Joining me on the panel today, we have Meg. Howdy. Hello, Julius. Hi. And of course, Jace. Hi, Sophie. Well, we've got lots coming up today, but let's start by checking out ProTech News. Today, we lift the lid on the $1 million TCP fraud following the conviction of former director Richard Skarzynski. Australian Technology Park have refuted claims by Builder Mervac that their construction works will not impact on events at the venue. More on that in ProTech. Also breaking news today from Hills, where some good measures have been taken to strengthen the audiovisual division. Every week we list the latest jobs. Make sure you get ProTech. Register your email address at juliusmedia.com. Designed for smaller and mid-sized projects and venues, MA.2 offers advanced functionality with outstanding ease of use. Full tracking backup is available via plug and play networking. The Dot .2 range is suitable for most theater, touring, corporate, television, and education lighting environments. Discover the free Dot .2 on PC software and the free Dot .2 3D visualization software. Test it for yourself. And welcome back. This week we're talking all about hype, and we know there can be a lot of that around at the moment. <laughs> Meg, tell us of some hype. Well, I don't understand people who wait outside stores in the freezing cold waiting for the iPhone 23 to come out. <laughs> and really, you could probably buy it online or you could buy something. I don't know. I think I'm sitting next to Julius a little too often because I'm turning into the grumpy <laughs> Julius. Well, the hype with the iPhone 7 is over. No one Maybe lined it's up over. No, but I'm talking 23, not yeah. 7. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't get it. Maybe I don't want anything that badly. Mm. I've discovered this wonderful thing. There's a company called Gartner that publish a, um, a graph of, of where new uh, technologies are at in terms of expectations, delivery, and how far off they think they are Ooh. from being real. It's a wonderful graph. I'll put it up on the screen. There's when there's innovation, then they have a peak of inflated expectations, <laughs> a trough of disillusionment, and then a slope of enlightenment before it actually becomes a All real right. Sounds thing. Like my life. And it's quite controversial. <laughs> can, can I ask when yeah. a, a robot's far Ro off? Robots are sort of popping up in a broad number of contexts, but my favorite one, because it makes Julius really angry. They reckon autonomous vehicles are currently in the peak of inflated expectations <laughs> and are still more than 10 years off actually becoming oh, a practical reality. Now, this arced you up no end. Well, it's twitching. Piffle. <laughs> They're being implemented as we speak. Yeah. So what, Singapore? Singapore Philly? has got five Pittsburgh? taxis. Uh, Uber have rolled out some in the US. It's, mm -hmm. it's here. It's okay. just waiting for refinement. It's still beta 0 0.9, but mm. it's here. Maybe they're waiting for investment. You can put it No, in they're not waiting for any money. Like, okay. They've they've got, one of my other favourites? All the money in the world. Yeah. Okay. Because once this comes along, you don't need Uber drivers, truck no. drivers, or taxi drivers. Mm. Which means there's a lot of invested interest there to try and stop it from happening as well. Which means yeah. those dudes, they can That's become true. roadies. Yeah. That's a great <laughs> Because career. we need more, right? I like my Uber. Okay. In the tr also joining them in the trough of disillusionment is natural language question answering. So they're talking about things like Siri and if you're a PC user, Cortana. Oh, yeah. Which, you know, like, hey, Siri, you know, what's the cheapest curry around the corner from me? Or, look, I don't really what, use What, they're them. saying it's not viable? No, they're saying people are disillusioned with it. Oh, it's Siri not They're not saying, not saying it's not cow. viable. I'm training she, her. I don't she, like Siri. She is the, she submits to me. She's mm. a weapon. Okay. She, She's a weapon? <laughs> I don't like her. <laughs> she does anything I she ask her. She doesn't okay. understand They're me. more positive about this because they reckon it's going to be like up and running and beautiful in about two to five years. Oh. So. Codswallop. Codswallop. <laughs> Who are these two? We made this. We look, they're we highly can, trained professionals. We can but. make one of these ourselves. Let's do the <laughs> I would like to see Next week on The Hump, our own freaking char. <laughs> yeah, okay. About what's going to catch I'll, on. And what, I'll whip what one up. Make. Okay. All right. I've the got, homemade I've got, servant? I've got seven days. <laughs> All right. You're let's do that. And to give you time to do that, let's go to a break. Metallica being from the Bay Area, especially myself, like to hook up with people who are local. Needing a smaller wedge for travel reasons, still keeping the same sonics of the giant Metallica sound was a challenge, but not for Meyer, it seems. Very pleased with uh, you know, the duties of guitar and vocals. Uh, coming through the same wedges, needing to have clarity in both, and this is this is what happens with Myers. So,
Welcome Astral Travelers, here's today's live production horoscope. Aries, despite the sign you put up asking people not to take your cables without asking, you will find yourself short by a dozen just before the gig. This isn't just the universe being cold and cruel, it's actually because your co-workers intensely dislike you. Taurus, you're known for being stubborn, inflexible, pig-headed and disagreeable. Luckily, these are all positives in your chosen career as the creative director of a major arts organization. Gemini, you know that time you lost the new mag light you bought to look for the old mag light that you dropped somewhere under the stage? Well, that's probably going to happen to you again today, you careless doofus. And please, whatever your sign, spread peace and serenity today by gaffing your co-workers mouth shut. The Champsys MQ500 Stadium features dual multi-touch displays in full HD with adjustable viewing angle and gesture support. It also features an inbuilt Magic Viz 3D visualizer with high quality beam and gobo rendering. It supports up to 200 universes on board direct from the console without the need for external processing. A Magic HD media server runs on board, enabling pixel mapping to all 200 universes. The MQ500 includes an intensity wheel and 100mm split crossfaders for theatre control and incorporates 42 fader and executor playbacks for live busking. And welcome back. All right, talking hype radar. Meg, what's on yours? Um, so I think I've made, hopefully my squeeze isn't watching the show, but he mentioned that there's this fantastic board game called Speak Out. And it's sold out. Speak out. Absolutely sold out. Okay. And I'm not going to do it. Anyway, 19 in mm -hmm. the shops, but because I have to have it for a birthday present, I may have spent a lot more than that. <laughs> and Can you tell me one twenty? <laughs> Are you like eBay out of the UK or something? Yeah, yeah. I do. And then you've got the thing. So I've never even played this game. Boy, we better like this game. I don't know if you've because ever everybody seen it. wants it. You put the big mouth guard, so you have to talk like this. I'd love to see us. I, I think I think you you two should. <laughs> I'll bring wear that ho, okay. during next the week's did show. You, did you buy a large bottle of tequila to go with this? <laughs> Maybe. What other games do you and Shane play? Do you, do you play Twister together? <laughs> and you don't really do you have like to go this. somewhere, do another ad or yes. something? No, we, we very urgently now need to have a look at what's in Gearbox. Let's okay, check great. it out. These are the new Mackie Pro DX series ultra compact digital mixers and as you can see they definitely live up to that. Uh, this is the Pro DX4, the tiniest, tiniest mixer I have ever seen. This has got two uh, combo TRS jacks and one 3.5mm jack input, two balanced uh, TRS uh, out for left right and one for its one aux bus. Over here on the 8 we've got six combo TRS inputs, one 3.5mm jack, uh, TRS out for uh, left and right and two uh, TRS out for AUX1 and AUX2. So it's the big differences, uh, one AUX bus, two AUX buses. Well, too much hype on this show. We'll see you all next week. Bye-bye. With our donkey. <laughs> <laughs>